Hello, hello, hello. I want to make this quick video on some thoughts that I think they could do to kind of improve the overall aspects of Fortnite's Battle Royale. Just small, little, simple things. Uh, one, like, there's this sound you hear when your teammates get downed, and it's like this really loud snap. Kind of like almost like the crackle of a sniper rifle bullet risen by your head, you know? It's just, I would, they need to, like, either change up the sound or at least, like, lower it a bit because it's like really loud it gives me a heart attack every time i hear it when i'm in duos or in squads with people and uh, it would just really be beneficial if i they need to lower that audio and probably change it up to some other sound that's not so n similar to something else like because like i said it just it sounds like a bullet crackling right by your head of a sniper rifle they need to change that audio up in some way or fashion you know another thing i wish they could they need to add in some of the would be nice is a um, a change of view, like of uh, when you die, like uh, your spectating your spectating view. You know, if you're like in the game of squads and you're spectating one of your teammates, but uh, you know, like there's like more than one teammate still alive, it would be nice to change like who you're spectating. You know, instead of that teammate, you can spectate onto a uh, another teammate. You know. Something simple, something easy, you know. I'd like to be able to change my perspective of uh, who I'm spectating when I'm dead. You know, that'd be nice, especially if it's a teammate in squads. It'd be cool if you could change the spec, uh, change who you're spectating in solo, so you can just look around and see wh who's left alive, you know, all that stuff and everything. Another thing would be cool is like you are, like they have like some sort of uh, imagery or whatever of like what the person killed you with, you know, like if it was a gold scar, purple shotgun, something like that, you know, like you would, like you know what they killed you with, because that'd be cool to just like, like, how would I, would have really fared against this person, would I have been able to take them on or not, you know, did they have like the better weaponry, or could I have just, uh, uh, shot at them instead of run away and stuff, you know, just, you know, it'd be cool to just be, uh, told what they killed you with, what weapon, what their degree of weapon it is, if it's, you know, rare, common, whatever. Be cool. It'd be nice. What else? What else? What else? What else? Simple uh, things. Uh, I'm trying to think, cause there's been other thoughts, but it's like like they're so jumbled up there sometimes. Like, trying to retrieve that thought is just a challenge in my mind sometimes. I hate it. Hmm. One thing would be nice. Hopefully they can come out soon. Though they have to do a lot of works right now with this game, you know, balance and tweaks and whatnot. But it'd be cool to have like another map, a newer map, like. The design wise of it all you know like because it's the they only have one map out right now and i don't care for like any other map where it's like it's a snow map or it's you know foggy or it's raining i can give two craps about that shit we don't need that right now what would be nice to have is another just a different type of design of a map you know like like maybe more mountains or less mountains you know bigger areas of like Woods or whatnot, you know, just a, a different map. That'd be nice to have. Hopefully, they can get that out within the next two months, maybe. So like I said, I understand they're trying to, you know, make sure everything's balanced and have good stability. Because right now, at least with Xbox, I find it's it's a bit laggy. Though overall, it could be a bit with my connectivity as well as that I'm streaming and whatnot. I have no doubt about that. I am just in the end uh, smuck on the internet. But. If it is in, in any partial way, because it kind of feels like it could be the game, because uh, I'm going to try a bit more streaming on some other games to really get a tell for it. And I streamed earlier today on the same aspects of uh, quality and everything as I have recently on where it was succeed, and I didn't have much issues there. So yeah, I think they need to do a bit of a stability work on their connection on Xbox One, at least, with this game. But that's at least me, you know. I could be the just like a, one of the few instances it's happening to people. Could be, could be. I have no doubt about that. It's all speculation right now. I'm just, you know, I'm stating stuff that I'm thinking. That's all. Just my opinions. No facts. What else? What else could they do to I feel it can improve the game some way? Hmm. Trying to think. Trying to think. Well, maybe of course you know a lot of people don't like a uh, additive of more weapons, which would be nice. And they were supposed to have like a laser gun that was supposed to be like it's a charge up and it's a one shot, but. It, it's not appeared in the game yet. So I think they're still trying to balance it out before they put it in the game. Which is probably going to be like a loot crate kind of weapon. You won't just find it out in the wild. And the ammo itself is going to be kind of scarce just what they said. So I have to say about that. What else, what else could they do to improve this game? Mm -hmm. 
That's what it is. I'm trying to think. I'm sorry. I can't really think of anything else right at the moment. Uh, maybe actually one thing like say you open up a chest and there's a, of course there's gonna be fire stuff comes out. I would like it like the first thing you have a priority of picking up is the weapon because there's times where it's like I'm trying to pick up the weapon and I pick up everything else and some random person like who drops near me to picks it up before I can and I get fucked over. Seriously, I, I think the game needs to prioritize the weapon to be like pop closest to yours. I'm gonna have like a priority of you being able to grab it. There's my, countless times I've been screwed over where it's just well, not countless, but a good enough times where I just think of it is where I'm open up a chest in an area, go to grab the weapon. Everything else is getting grabbed for some reason. The weapon's the last thing I try to grab, and somebody else grabs it and kills me with it. So annoying. So yeah, maybe improve upon that. There's one thing that I need to kind of improve on. I've only seen it rarely. It's happened to me twice, though. Uh, I need to look back at the footage of today's uh, stream because it happened to me once today on the stream and like once two streams ago, two like two or three maybe nights ago of streaming. Is I drink one potion. That's the only potion I had to get shield. And instead of it being fifty, it was a hundred. Now the first time it regulated back down to fifty. It's like it's like it realized like oh you're not supposed to be at hundred. You're supposed to be at fifty and like it lowered itself. And then uh, it happened again today. God damn. Oh, sorry, it's just I'm so annoyed sometimes that they. My camera's, uh, I really need to check this out after I'm done the stream, but my camera's software doesn't, it's not compatible with Windows 10 right now, so it's auto-focusing by itself. I can't turn that off. It's so annoying. I'm sorry. It's, mm. I'm trying not to bug me, but it's happening a lot today on this video. It's pissing me off. What else could they fix upon their game or do something to change or add or improve to better it? Hmm, what else, what else, what else? I wonder if they can make it where it's like you can parachute skydive straight to the ground, like, like, you, it won't auto deploy and you can't skydive down anymore. It'd be interesting if they can have it like where it's like you skydive and you have to pull your chute or slash glider or slash umbrella thing, you know? It'd be interesting, like, there is no auto pull. It, it's on you completely and everything. I can understand right now it's going to have auto because more and more newer people are coming by and they don't, probably not going to realize it. But it'd be cool if there was, like, at some point, at least some mode is, like, like, it's a bit more of a hardcore mode where there is, like, no auto pull of the glider. You have to pull your own glider. Pretty much shoot. You have to pull your own shoot. That'd be interesting. That'd be cool. What else? What else? Oh. I think they need to change up also the audio cue of the uh, supply crate when it first appears because you hear it and there's sometimes where like it's so loud you think it's close to you but it's like it's, it's kind of close to you but it's still a bit of a distance away. I wish they can change it up and where it's like you really get an understandable idea of how far away it is because it's just like like a good r range. I don't know range. A good. Uh, Distance like uh, 100 to 200 yards, almost like are these, like where how close it can be to you to another distance of like maybe 200 yards past that, where you still hear the same audio cue. Something like that, you know. I just, I, was, I think they need to improve the audio cue on that to really make it understandable how real close it is. Not to mention, uh, they, I feel they like almost kind of need to also. Uh, I have a better randomization of that too, of where it's gonna land, like wh when it appears and where it's gonna land, because right now it's like it always seems to appear away from people, like it, wherever, where, like it's gonna drop right on somebody where like, they currently are. Because most times, at least, it's gonna it w the first one won't appear to at least the first circle has appeared, and possibly the storm itself is pushing into it. But yeah, yeah, I feel they. Could possibly better randomize it, maybe? I don't know. I could be wrong. I have no doubt about that. What else? What else could they improve upon this game? I don't know. I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Quick video, somewhat. Almost 10 minutes here. But yes, I thank you for watching. I hope you were informed. I hope you were entertained. And I hope you have a welcome second day.